Hey guys, Troy Schuyler here, uh, licensed real estate broker, Keller Williams Realty, Umpqua Valley in Roseburg, Oregon. I'm gonna talk with sellers today for a little bit, just about some strategies about selling your house for top dollar, try to get a quick sale, which really are the two things that I hear over and over and over on listing appointments. Sellers want top dollar and they wanna sell fast. They don't wanna leave money on the closing table and they don't wanna sit on their house month after month after month with no buyer for obvious reasons. So when you're ready to pull the trigger, you're ready to get your house on the market, here's what I would suggest. Number one, the most important thing is to price your house correctly. Um, probably the main reason why homes don't sell the first time on the market is because they're not priced correctly. A good real estate broker, licensed um, listing broker will be able to help you with that. Um, they're gonna be able to show you a competitive market analysis. You've heard that before, a CMA. A good CMA is going to give you a lot of good information. It's not just going to be a over the phone kind of thing or hey, go to Zillow and check out your estimate. Those aren't accurate values. You want to know what the com competition is like in your neighborhood. You want to know the average price ranges. You want to know the foot traffic in your neighborhood, how the, how the market's trending. Is it trending up? Is it trending down? What's the average median and, and the average selling price of a home? What is the average um, list to sell price ratio. So you know how much give you're going to have, how much room are you going to have to negotiate? Are buyers asking for closing costs in your neighborhood? Are there ways around that? Which there are, which I can explain to you. If you have questions, just give me a call and ask. Um, the average days on the market, you know, once we put the house on the market, how long are we looking? Are we looking for, you know, 10 days, 20 days, hundred days. How long is the average on the market? And then most importantly, how to set the right listing price to meet your goals, whatever your goals are. If you need to be done in three months, then that's really important to build the, the whole marketing plan and the pricing around what your needs are, um, not around the, what the real estate broker would like to see happen. So pricing is very important and that's gonna set the whole tone for your listing. That's the first P in the three Ps of home selling um, is a term that we re oftentimes use with sellers. Um, the second P that I'd like to talk with you about is uh, the product, that's your house, and how it is presented. Um, and so if your house isn't presentable, if it's cluttery, if it smells like dog, um, if you just have too much stuff in the house, too many Chinese nesting dolls up on the wall or something like that, it's time to kind of depersonalize, get that stuff out of your house. You're selling your house, you're not selling your stuff, and people have a hard time seeing past that. Really buying a house is a process of elimination. And when a buyer drives up to your house, you only have one chance to make a first impression. You've heard that before. And if your house doesn't look good from the outside, you're not gonna get them inside. And we can't sell them on the inside if we can't get them through the front door. Does that make sense? So you gotta look at your house with a critical eye. Do I need to clean the roof? Do I need to clean the gutter? Should I pressure wash the sidewalks, the driveway, the siding? Do I need to give the yard a trim? What, what do I need to do? Do I need to paint the house? Um, those type of things. So if you want top dollar for your house, your house needs to be in top condition. So uh, again, with the pricing, super important. Again, it, something I wanted to mention too with pricing is a lot of times I'll hear sellers say, you know, I just, I wanna price it high because I want some wiggle room so I can come down. I can always come down. I hear that over and over. That's really backwards thinking. If you want top dollar, why not list one or 2% below what the market tells you you can net and try to get a buyer frenzy going on your listing, oftentimes that happens and get two, three, four, five offers on your house and maybe push up over where you would have been in the first place. On the flip side of that, we see sellers oftentimes make that mistake of listing their house high with the idea that they'll drop the price down later, um, only to find that they have to reduce lower than they would have in the first place if they would have just priced it spot on to begin with. So oftentimes those sellers are here 30 days down the road. They miss that whole initial time on the market. That first 30 days is really our push on the market. Probably get a bulkier showings in that first 30, 30 days. We miss that, boom, seller drops the price and they end up having to negotiate down even further. It just happens just the way it is. After 20 something years, I just see it over and over and over and over. And so it's, um, it's just uh, something you need to know, you need to be aware of. So try to get your price on first, right off the bat, get your product up to snuff, make sure your house shows well. Now, if you can't make your house in top condition for the price that you wanna be in, and you wanna be on the list, you wanna stay on the buyer's list, you don't want them to cross you off. So in order to do that, the only way to compensate would be in the price. So <clears throat> if you're unable, or maybe you're unwilling to do the fix ups and the spruce ups that, that are recommended to do to get your house into top condition, lower the price a little bit. So your price needs to match the product. You're not gonna try to 
it doesn't work the other way around, if that makes sense. If you have questions on it, give me a call. The last P is on me. That's the promotion. But seriously, if the price is off and the house doesn't show well, or vice versa, either or, um, all the marketing in the world, really, it's not going to sell your house. You know, I can market your house to every person on the planet, but if your price is off, it's not going to sell. Or if the house just doesn't show well, it's going to be really, really difficult to sell, even if I expose it to mass, massive numbers of buyers, which is what I focus on doing. That's why I try to put out information like this and educate my clients that it takes three things. The price has to be on, the house has to be up to snuff, and the promotion has to be on. And if any of those P's, those three P's are out of whack, your house isn't going to probably sell. But when we put them together like a puzzle and they all work together and they're all in check, the house always sells. They just always do. And so basically, bottom line, all I can do is make recommendations with price. All I can do is make recommendations with the product and getting your house ready for the market. It's really up to you to make those action steps to do what needs to be done to get ready for the market. Then once it's with me, I can focus on the marketing part of it, which I blog, I do videos, I do video walkthrough tours, single property websites, local and national SEO, search engine optimization, a lot of online marketing. Just pull my name online, uh, troyskyler.com, or just Google my name. Don't even put the .com behind it, Troy Schuyler, and um, you'll see the kind of marketing I do, rosebergholmesforsale.com. It's my blog. I blog a lot there about real estate stuff, and you'll see some of the stuff I do there. You want to get specific with the marketing plan for your house, though. One plan isn't really, it's not really a one plan fits all. It really has to be tailored around your needs, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. And so um, that's really where the, the, the fine tuning comes in to what exactly we'll do with the marketing plan. If you have a house to sell, I'd be happy to meet with you, no obligation. You want to get a value. You want to understand what the market's doing in your neighborhood. Email me, call me, text me, whatever you want to do. Go to TroySkyler.com and just hit the contact button and um, make a time we can get together, like I said, with no obligation, no pressure. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, reach out, 541-643-1131. Have a great day.